In today's video, I'm going to show you how to auto update your data from Google Forms to Google Sheets with formulas. So if you're creating a form starting from Google Sheets, it will look like this. First, what you're going to do is to go to tools here in the menu bar and select create a new form. If we click on this, we'll be redirected to this other page where we can start creating our forms, which will be again already linked to our Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and create this form. Let's start with our first question, which will be the name of the person answering this form. And that will be in short answer. This field will be required. Let's tick on that. There you have it. Now let's go to the next one. Let's create another one. And for this one, we're going to have this person choose the product that they want to purchase. So this one will be in a drop down format. So let's put in our options. So this will be some produce, like some apple, some bananas, and maybe another one. Let's put in a pear. And there you have it. So in that drop down, they'll have three options. And again, this will be a required field to answer. And finally would be the quantity. So for this one, they can put in any number that they want. So that's going to be short answer again, and another required field. So we're just going to end it with three questions right there. We have the name, the product and the quantity. So if you want to share this with someone, you can just click on send and you can have this sent via email with a link or you can embed it into your website. So we're going to do this by link. We can shorten the link so we don't have to share such a long link. There we go. Copy that link and you can just send it to the people that you want to have a response from. So let's close that up and let's fill out the same form. And here we have our form. So let's go ahead and fill in some responses for the product. I'm going to go for banana and in the quantity of 15, click on submit and it will tell you that your response was recorded. If we go back to our Google sheet, you'll see that we'll have a new tab right here. If we click on that, here is our first response and our data is already in table form. So if you're creating a form starting from Google sheet, once you have some responses from that form, the data will be already formatted in table here in your spreadsheet. But if you're trying to, let's say, link a different form to a spreadsheet, let's say you started with a form, then link that spreadsheet to your form, then your data will not be automatically in table format. But that's okay. You can always convert your data into a table. So here's our first response. We have here Samantha. We have here the name, the product and the quantity. Now, what if we want to include the price and the total for this response? Now we don't want to add it in the form. We want to add it here in our table. So I'm going to add a price column right here. There we go. And also a total. Now for the price, I'm going to create a price list here on the other sheet. So we had three products right there. We had the apple the banana and the pear. So for each item, let's say one would cost $2, the banana would be $3 and the pear would be $4. So that's product and price. So let's convert this into a table. There you have it. So I'm going to extract the price from our previous sheet right here. We have the apple, banana and pear, $2, $3 and $4. So let's go ahead and extract that. I'm going to be using the X lookup function equal sign X lookup. There we go. We have our search key, which is this one right here, comma, our lookup range, which would be in this column right here comma and our result range from this column right here. If we press enter, there we have it. We have $3 for the bananas. And to get our total, our formula would be quite simple. That would be quantity times our price, which is already suggested to us. So let's just do that manually. That's quantity multiplied by price. If we press enter, there you have it. So let's see if these formulas will still follow through if we add a new response. So let's go ahead and add a new response. Here we have it. Let's add another name. 
select a different product this time maybe an apple and in a quantity of 20 submit now let's go back to our sheets and there you go so this formulas will definitely be carried out throughout your table as long as you have new responses coming in now let's say we are going to add another question onto our form so let's go ahead and do that so i still have my form open but if you don't have it open and you want to edit it or add something else you can just go to tools manage form and edit form and if you click on that it will open the same thing for you so let's say we want to add another question to our form let's just click on this plus sign right here to add a question here we have it so let's say we want to have some comments from people answering the forms and yes that will be in paragraph form and this time it won't be required so the right now it's after the name so i want to move it at the bottom i'm just going to click on this part right here and drag it all the way down so now it's at the end and if we go to our form so let's say we're going to submit another response and you'll see that now we have four questions we have the name product quantity and your comments let's go ahead and add another response select a pair this time quantity of five and the comment would be pick the best ones there we go and click on submit so our response was recorded now let's go back to our sheets so the comments has been added into our table but it has not affected our formulas so the reference here for this ones are still pertaining to the product the quantity and the total is doing the same thing if we don't want this comment column to be right here we want it to be at the end all we have to do would be to click on this and drag it to where we want it to be and there you have it now we have the comments at the end with our price and total still intact and there you have it so everything is automatically updated even with your formulas what if we want to let's say get the grand total for all of the purchases that we have and we want it to be again auto updated one of the great things about using the table with your data is having those table references which makes it really easy to use with your formulas again with this one we have our xlookup and for each of the ranges that we have these are all table references from this table and from our other table here on the other sheet so let's try and get the grand total at the top i'm just going to be adding some rows at the top and for that formula that would be our sum function which would let me just close that refer to this range right here and you'll see again as soon as i've selected that it has given us the table reference for that column if i press enter there you have it now if we have another response with another total let's go ahead and do that i'm going to add another one right here with a comment submit and again our response was recorded back to our sheets with that new response our formula has followed through and our grand total is updated because again with the table references that we use everything new will be added into your formulas and there you have it that's how to auto update your data from google forms to google sheets with formulas thanks for watching if you found this video helpful do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos see you on the next one